Hey folks, Anisha here, and I've got a get a feature for you to check out. So at GitHub, we've been shipping a ton of new features. And for these videos, we're going to hear from the people behind these features and see a demo of them too. So today I'm joined with Lauren, who's going to be telling us more about task lists. Lauren, over to you. Thanks, Anisha. Um, yeah, like she said, my name's Lauren Bros. I'm a senior product manager um, at GitHub focused on the issues space and all things planning and tracking. Um, and so today I'm going to be talking to you about task lists, which is kind of our newest set of functionality that's meant to help you track a set of work to completion and kind of break down your issues into those smaller tasks. Um, so to do this, we've added a bunch of enhancements and I'm just going to walk you through what those are. We're starting from an issue, brand new. I have an idea for a really awesome feature. You know, I might add a description here you know, in my markdown, but then I've got my nice little to-do list. Um, I think I'm going to need to, you know, set up a back end, write an API, do some front end stuff. And, you know, I create that issue. And so the first thing you'll notice is now in the issue header, I'll see that there's three tasks kind of associated with this. And actually, as I check these off, I'm going to see that progress being updated. And that's because we're now kind of structuring this data so that you can kind of track your work. Um, but doesn't stop there. Um, you can also take an idea that you wrote in text and quickly just convert it into an issue. And not only is that going to create an issue for you, but when you open that issue, you're going to see, hey, this issue is being tracked as part of that feature that I opened up. You know, I can even go further and break this down into even more tasks. And I can even link to another issue. It gets its own set of tasks that are being tracked. So this is really multi-level. Even more exciting is when this issue eventually gets closed by say like a linked pull request. When I go back to that you know main issue here, uh, it's already checked off, everything's up to date and in sync. So yeah, that's, that's kind of it. That's task lists, helping you break down your work. Lauren, I am loving this. I can't hold up any more emojis. <laughs> so I'm loving how easy you've made this really like planning in GitHub. Um, I can see a lot of folks, you know, just getting, just literally just picking this up and start using it straight away. Um, so I've got a couple questions for you then. Um, what are some ways development teams can really start using task lists for their planning? So I think the kind of key scenario for teams is kind of creating these like epic like issues. So, you know, you're detailing the outcomes that you're trying to achieve for your software project, bringing together a set of feedback or other kind of feature requests and context. And now you're creating this kind of directional relationship that helps you track work into completion. And the really great thing is there isn't a limit to the number of levels you can have or the number of issues that can be tracked in another issue. So you're really creating this kind of graph of work that's super flexible and actually captures how planning kind of shapes up in your software development project. Great, that's pretty cool. So another question for you then, um, is there gonna be an API available to pull this data? Yes, so the great thing about this relationship is even though it's in Markdown, it's still structured data. And so you can actually fetch the issues that are being tracked as part of an issue or what like the parent issue is through the GraphQL API. Um, we've got one in beta that lets you kind of read this information as well as the progress counts for a given issue. And, you know, based on the current beta that we're in and feedback we hear in the GitHub feedback repo, we'll add more to this API or, you know, improve upon it. Great. Thanks so much. So folks, go ahead and check out this feature and let us know what you think about it. You can drop your comments down below, hit us up on Twitter or share your feedback on support community as well. So thanks again, Lauren. And folks, stay tuned for more checkout videos coming your way very soon.